All right, so now we're going to look at the second part that we're going to get into. I guess that's the third part of the series, but um, this is looking at the high-level thinking. So that they're asking us something a little bit more challenging. We're going to have to play around with it, and this is where the excellence material really comes from. So, um, the park designers decided they'd like to put in a curved path in the shape of an arc from side AB across to side BC and fill this sector. So they're giving you a hint there in terms of what this might look like. Right, so a sector, going to be that sort of shape, that, um, and this creates a flower bed. So they want um, us to pay for it under a budget of $850. Now that has to include the paving stones for the path, as well as planting of flowers into the area that's gardened. And the costs are still the same as they would be for the rest of it. Um, we need to suggest to the designer dimensions for that path and flower bed that will fit within their budget. So if we take that down and apply it to our diagram, what we're looking for is actually trying to find an arc. might not be so symmetrical when you draw it yourself, um, or hopefully more symmetrical than mine, but we're looking for an arc, a path that can go from AB over to BC, and you'll notice that this makes a sector shape. So we're going to have some angle in there that we can call theta, and you'll notice here we're going to have to convert that to radians because this is in degrees. We've got our arc length. That's going to be where the paving stones are placed. So we need to know how big is that arc length, and then the area inside of here, that's going to be where we plant the flowers. So we need to know what the area is to find out how much it costs for the flowers, and we need to know the arc length to find out how much it's going to cost for the pavers. Now, there's two things that are here, and the first mistake that students made was that, when I was marking anyways, they assumed that the $850 was just for the flowering. Um, but remember, we've got to fit two different things into the $850 ticket. That's the paving and the flowering. So, the first approach that I'm going to take for you guys is guess and check. Uh, and that's mostly because most of the students in my class are not as experienced with algebra. But I'll do another, um, s another video where I show you how to do this from an algebraic point of view, where you can get a very precise answer. So what we mean by guess and check is that um, we're just going to make a guess and calculate out what the cost will be for that and see if it works within our budget. So remember our arc length formula is r theta and our area of a sector is equal to one half r squared theta. And the thing they both share in common is the radius obviously. If I know what the radius is on this particular flower bed, then I can calculate the area and the arc length. And my radius will be the distance from R out to where the path starts. So this will be my radius. So for guess and check, I can just say that I'm going to guess and check. Take a stab at a number. Any number that you think might be reasonable. So let's think about what is reasonable. I know from the last problem I worked out that this is 60 meters across, and this over here is 80 meters across, so obviously less than that. Um, just so this doesn't get dragged out too long, I'm going to guess a value that's pretty close. So I'm going to say, let's try radius equal 5 meters. So with that, let's calculate our arc length and our area for the radius is equal to 5 meters. So the arc length is equal to, well, needed to convert our radians here real quick, Nine, sorry, 92 degrees times that by pi divided by 180 and we should get 1.61 radians. So that's what we need to use. So we've got our radius is 5 times 1.61 radians. When we do this, we get 8.05 meters for our arc length. And for the area, that's 1 half times 5 squared times 1.61. And in this case, we get 20.51 meters squared. Watching that I put my units on everything here. So then my cost is going to be that I have to pay $4 for each paver, and each paver is 25 centimeters wide, so I know that there's four of them in one meter. So in the arc length, I'm going to do my cost, and I'm going to say roughly 8 meters times 4 per meter times $4 per paver, and that's going to get me to haven't done that one out yet. 8 times 16, going to get me to $128. And here you could say, to be really careful, assume, ignore 
the 5 centimeter gap, which would be that 0, 5 there. So $128 there. My area, the cost for that is going to be 20 times 5, 1 times $25 per square meter. And that works out to be $503.13. So the total cost is equal to 128 plus 503.13. Add that up and you get um, $631.15. And we can see here, so this is where you have to be really clear for getting full credit on the excellence working. We can see here that our budget was $850. So we'd say here, under budget, that's okay. So under budget's okay, but let's try um, try something bigger, see if we can actually get closer, because they've got $850 to spend, so might as well make the garden as big as possible. So we'll try again. This time let's guess maybe that our radius is equal to 6 meters, and see what happens. So same process, we'll find our arc length, but the radius is 6, the angle is still the same. So for this, we get 9.66 meters. And for my area, 1 half times 6 squared times 1.61 is equal to 28.98 meters squared. Looking at our costs again, just use the whole number here, 9.66 times 4 meter times um, 4 for each one and we get 154.56 and over here the cost is going to be 28.98 times 25 which gives us $724.50 and if we add that up for our total cost 154.56 plus 274.50 we see that we get $879.06 and that's too much. So it's not going to work, that's not going to be a solution that works because it's over 850 So the next thing that we can do then is try to take it a step below. So this is kind of the guess and check. I mean you might have picked 10 meters as your guess. You would have found that that was way too big and you just got to keep guessing until you get under 850 or maybe you guessed way too small, you keep guessing until you get up close to 850. So the guess and check isn't as precise of a method as using the algebra, but we'll still get you there if you're patient with it. So I could try something like, well, 879 was actually pretty close. It's not too far above 850, so I'm going to guess something closer to 6 meters because that was my last guess. So I don't know, let's try a radius equal to um, 5 point not sure, 5.8 meters and see what happens. So if we go through that same process, okay so to save some time on that I just went ahead and wrote in the working, but you can see here my cost for arc length is going to be roughly $108 with a radius of 5.8. My area cost for the flowers is going to be roughly $677 and just to um, point this out real quick didn't do it on the last example, but I wanted to do it here. Um, I've rounded to the nearest paver. Just because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be costing for a paver that you're not actually going to put in there. So I saw that 6.728 is pretty close to 6.75. Again, they're 25 centimeters, so that's a 0.25 at a time. So just rounding there. You'll notice here that my total cost ends up being $785, and that's under the $850. So again, to get the excellence here, you need to communicate really clearly whether you're okay with that answer. It is a potential that you could stop here maybe at 5.8 and say, hey, that's actually pretty good. Um, but maybe you want to go further. Maybe you want to try to get actually right on 850 or much closer to it. So you could try again at something slightly bigger than 5.8 because it was just under, so you could try 5.9 or 5.85 and see if you can get any closer to that. But if you decide to leave it here, if I was going to leave this as my answer, maybe something that I would do to finalize it here is you've really got to put it into words. So I'd say something like this. Um, 
I'll probably pause and write it out first. So what I've said here is I would recommend a garden with a radius of 5.8 meters. This cost $785. This is a six this is sorry, this is $65 under budget, but maybe they could use the extra $65 left over to plant a tree or to put in a seat. Now I could probably go on here further and say that um you know, if I tried again, maybe I'd do like 5.9. I actually find out that that's maybe slightly too big, um, although it's pretty close. So you might just want to say that, you know, um, also from like a builder's point of view, like measuring to the nearest 10 centimeters is probably easier than measuring to the nearest centimeter on that radius. So having the 5.8 is good because it actually fits exactly um, 6.75 uh, meters, which will give you an even number of pavers all the way around the arc. And you can go on to describe that a little bit more, like why practically that's a good answer. That you can actually have an even number of pavers spread out across that thing or that you get a certain amount of area that might be useful for something. So anything else you can think of that kind of gives you a reason to communicate that you have a reasonable answer here and that you've thought about what it means and that you've thought that it's okay and any differences or discrepancies in it. So if this was the real exam, I might try to get a little bit closer to the, sorry, to the 850, but um, you know, if I'm running out of time, this is probably a good place to stop and a totally legitimate thing to say that, you know, I probably could fit in a slightly bigger radius, but, you know, this rounds off easy to an even number of pavers for me and they can use the extra money to go towards some other feature in the park. So that works for guess and check. It does take a little bit more time, but make sure you're thinking really clearly about things, watching your rounding, round reasonably. Um, unlike I did here, that was the one that I didn't round reasonably. Um, 66 centimeters does not fit in 25 centimeter pavers really well, so that's another reason why that might not be the best answer, even if we use that one. So give a think about it, and I'm going to do another video real quick that shows how to look at this from an algebra point of view and get a really much more specific answer.